Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name's Billify, and today we are here to counter a glove. What glove is that? Why, of course it's the Ice Skate Glove. And these are going to be the awesome goobers that are going to be helping us to figure out what counters this Ice Skate Glove. We have Kryptonol, Ivan, Sho, Foxy Boy, and Bio. Thank you so much. Let's get to it. First things first, can you use the default Fart Blast to escape an ice path if you're stuck on it? So if you're on this, ooh, yeah, you can kind of use the default to Fart Blast off of this, like if you are stuck in the middle of it. So say you're trapped in this, just use the default Fart Blast to get out of there. This is a good low tier option for you. It hinders your ability to jump, but the Fart Blast gives you enough speed to escape when you really need to. Next thing, of course, is going to be the rock. If you're in rock mode, you can't be frozen because you're in a rock. <laughs> But if there's an ice lake, just go into your rock form. They will not be able to get you, and you could just wait for the ice to thaw out, and then you could walk away. And that's it. What happens if you're sleeping? Oh, you can see that it, uh, it does nothing to the people that are already sleeping. If you see the ice skater skating around you, you could still be slapped, but at least you're not gonna be frozen. So after you get slapped, you can get back up and then go back to fighting. You could definitely spam your sleep to avoid being frozen. So you could use Z's in that way, but is this the option I'm gonna go with? No, 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 no. There's definitely gonna be better options that you could use. The Flash Glove can also be another low budget glove that you can use to escape if you're stuck in the ice you can just use this to dash out of it but there's going to be better options than flash swapper can be really good against an ice skater because they always have forward momentum going so if they're coming after you you could just swap them off the edge yeah, easy swap. <laughs> Very easy swap to do if they're coming after you because they always have that forward momentum going. Ooh, stun might actually be pretty effective here. If they do try to go near you and you use this, it kind of it nullifies them and takes them out of their ability. So stun's definitely going to be good. The one thing you do have to watch for is stun does have a longer cooldown than ice skating, so they can get right back into ice skating where you're going to be about half with stun. Magnet can be good. You could use this to escape, so if you're stuck in some ice, you could use this to escape and go to somebody else. Or if an ice skater's going around, you could use this to catch right back up to them but you do have a long cooldown and if you do mess up you will turn into an ice block how effective can speed run be you don't even have to worry at all when you're <laughs> about the ice if you're speed run it doesn't target you <laughs> speed run's gonna be a top counter for that you can stand in the ice and be okay and it doesn't slow you down so massive w for speed run so what happens with golden's power up ability all right so if there's ice and you use the golden ability you're perfectly safe you do not have to worry at all you can go back to jumping you can slap them you can stand on the ice you won't turn into an ice block you're good but once you get out then you gotta watch out because you have an extremely long cooldown. What about Cheeky? Can Cheeky turn into ice? Alright, so if there's ice here, can you go into Cheeky Ball form? Yep, and if you sit in the ice as a Cheeky, you are perfectly safe as long as you are in Cheeky Ball form. You won't turn into an ice block and you can just roll off to the side and then get out of Cheeky mode and then go back to fighting. Because you can activate it on the ice, Cheeky's gonna be a top counter. Replica clones cannot be turned into ice, so they can walk all over the ice and not have to worry because they will not be frozen. Ha, ah, defense is actually gonna finally be a counter. <laughs> if you go into the defense form, you do not have to worry about ice. They cannot reach you. So by the time your barrier is really small, you can pretty much get slapped around here. But yeah, you could definitely stay safe against these users if you do sit in your defense. So what happens with reverse? All right, so with ice, if you stand on it, you still turn into an ice block using reverse. That's not going to save you. So the only thing that this is going to save you from is just the base slaps. So reverse is not going to be a counter here. Shikuchi can be good because if you're about to turn into an ice block, you could just go into an animation and be okay. So if you're fighting and then the ice is getting real close to you, oh, just go into your animation Indeed. and you're perfectly fine. You're Ooh, the timer still stays with you. So try to do it as early as possible, but you can easily avoid being hit. I think woe is going to be a really good counter here. If you have an ice coming after you, just woe them back. It takes them out of their ability. The only thing you'd have to watch is they get their cooldown pretty fast, but so do you. So even if they do continue to chase you, just use this and push them back. If you get turned into ice, can you use Adios to get out of the ice? So if ice blocked, you can use it. By the time you are out, oh yeah, you are out of the ice. So Adios can work out very well. If you can land a coil shot or a rocky, it can be effective to take them out of their ability, but I feel like there's better to recommend. So the table flip glove is kind of like a deterrent, but also kind of like a counter. The problem with table flip is the cooldown is really long. So if they are skating around and you do end up hitting them, if you hit them off, perfect. But if you do hit them, it will take them out of that ice skating mode. But again, that cooldown is the big thing you need to watch. Shield will protect you from the base slap but it will not protect you from the ice. Ping pong is going to be exactly like table flip where it does the same thing, but it might be a little bit harder to hit a ping pong than a table flip, but their gloves are basically the same in this scenario. I wouldn't say home run's a counter, but it's a huge deterrent for them trying to put you in ice because you're a home run, so if they get close to you trying to put ice on you, yeah, it batters up. 
<laughs> and if somebody comes over to try to put you in ice, all you would have to do is just go into your baseball bat form, and they wouldn't get close to you, or they'd end up getting hit like that. Whirlwind could be great if you are stuck on the ice. You could just use this to escape. Now, what happens if you do get stuck in ice? Can you use this glove? You can use Whirlwind if you've been <laughs> in ice. Just watch out. If you do hit somebody, you're probably going to end up flying away with ice because it's still going to be attached to you. Slicer is just like Home Run and Ping Pong, but it's definitely going to be the elite out of those three, just due to the fact that it has a huge wingspan that you can hit them with and take them out of their ability. So with the icers coming after you, all you would have to do is just throw a blade and it takes them out of their ability. Can you use Excavator to escape? If you turn into an ice block, you cannot use Excavator while in that ice block form. So the way you do this is if you are on ice, use this to escape and then come back up you can actually push them off of their ability, so that is something you can do with Excavator. Grapple can be great to escape. If you're being surrounded by ice, just use the grapple and go somewhere else. You get your hook so fast that even if they're near you again, just use it and go somewhere else. <laughs> if you're in ice and you use grapple, I wouldn't because you maintain speed. <laughs> <laughs> the parry glove can be really good here. You can always parry the initial slap that they try to do, but if you get stuck in a rock, you're not going to be able to do anything, and you also can't jump while you're in the ice, so you have to do it before they get near you. That's about the best thing you could do with this, is jump before they get near you. Jebated can keep you safe. If you're in jebated form, you can still get turned into ice, but if they go to slap you, they get caught like that. So if you are ice, you can get pushed off, but even if you do get pushed off, you're in jebated, so you can go right back up. Oven can be really, really good here. So if you know an ice is coming, you can just set up an oven, and you're gonna go. So oven is gonna be huge here. And by the time that they get out and they're free and they have their ice ability again, guess what? You have another oven. You already have your oven back. So oven is huge. Of course, if you guardian angel your friend, if they get hit off in any way, shape, or form, this will save them. Fairy men can be good here. If you are on ice, you can just use your ability to slide past and get out of it. If there is ice underneath you, if you're on top of fairy men, you can still be hit. So you need to watch out for that. So yeah, with fairy men, definitely just use the dash. That's gonna be the most effective part. How effective can black hole be. So if there's an ice gate that's going around and you catch them, oh yeah, you can definitely use this to kind of catch them and keep them away from you. One thing you do have to watch for is your cooldown. Other than that, if you can catch them with the black hole, yeah, this could work. Now what happens with God's Hand's ability? Yeah, they could use their ability during time stop, so if you were to try to walk up behind them and start slapping them, you would turn into ice. So that can be a deterrent. Ultra Instinct will have that 50% dodge rate if they do try to slap you, even if you are in ice. But this would not be my go-to. What happens if you're Titan? So you can be slowed down and you can be turned into an ice block. Ooh, you're not safe as Titan. <laughs> Acrobat is the same as default. Once you're in the ice, just use your ability and get out of it. You're perfectly good that way, and you get your ability back so fast, even if you're in the ice again, just get out of it again. <laughs> Phase can be good to save you if you are gonna get caught up in the ice. So if you are stuck on this, just go into the primeval mode. You can still be slowed down, but at the same time, you're okay as long as you're not on that ice. If you can land the bomb, yep, it'll take them right off of their skates. If you can land the bubble, same thing, it'll take them right off of their skates. Jet would be really hard to hit, but would take them right off of their skates. <laughs> but out of the gloves we just said, Shard's gonna be the one that I would recommend out of all those, just due to the fact that it's low cooldown, and you can knock them off of their skates. If you could land the shots, yeah, it'll take them off, but their slowness that they have can be taken off right when they use their ability again. So the slowness isn't gonna last. You could just do this, if they are chasing you down, to hit them off their tracks of going after you. You should be perfectly safe against them in a slapple tree. If they are skating near you, you could just go up in a tree and knock them off, and if they try to sit beneath you, you could also just just wait, because they can't hit you with any of the ice skate abilities. Even if you are stuck on ice, you could still use the tree and not have to worry. So Slapple is going to be a huge counter here. What happens with Larry? Oh! <laughs> if his torso is up? If his torso is in the ground, I mean, then yeah, you kind of do that little face plant thing. Okay, Larry steps over that, and you don't really have to worry. But if his torso's in the ground, then you must worry. <laughs> Charge is goofy. It can work to save you, but if you use it while in the ice, it's a death sentence. <laughs> if you are on ice and about to get stuck, just use this to get off of it, and you're good to go. But if you do turn into ice, it's not gonna end out well for you, because, uh... Yeah. Even in the upright mode, you can't control yourself. You just kind of get taken away. Glitch can be really good in this scenario. As soon as they get near you, just use it and take them out of their ability. And by the time they get their ability back, you're pretty much having yours back as well. So glitch can be a huge, huge, huge counter and deterrent right here. Elude is like debated in a sense that you can't be slapped, but if you do turn into ice, you can still be pushed. So it's not a top counter. It's just a counter that can work because you can't be slapped. Fish can be good, but you have to use it kind of wisely. So you could use it to flip off of the 
ice and be safe that way and just kind of avoid it till you get your flop again, which is really fast. But if you do turn into an ice, I really wouldn't recommend flopping because if you do, you carry your momentum. So you can end up sliding off of the map, which won't be ideal for you. <laughs> Malai is actually really good here. When you have the head down here, if they do try to persist you, I would definitely just kind of keep running around in circles around this. It takes them off of their ice skates. You could also stand on top of this to be safe, but they could also jump dash from the outside and slap you off. If you have one of them leashed, what happens? They can't use their ability, but they also don't turn into ice because they're in a sleeping form. So if you manage to leash them, yeah, th th this should work for you. Flame Ring is a great deterrent if they're trying to put you in ice. If they try to surround you, all you'd have to do is just use this to surround yourself. And if they do get hit, it should take them out of their ability, which yes, it does. If you're on the ice and you use Sparky, what happens? So if you're on the ice and you use Sparky, you still turn into the ice. You could still control it, which is funny to see. So Sparky can be good here. It could definitely counter. Because even if you are an ice block, you can escape and be good. So Boogie will take away their glove, but if they're in their ability, I think they still stay with their ability. All right, so if they already are in their ability, it maintains it. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. So yeah, you can still be turned into ice and be pushed, but you really wouldn't have to worry about being slapped. Quake can be a good deterrent if they're surrounding you, trying to put you in ice. You can use Quake to knock them off of their ability, but the cool down is what's going to get you, so I can say this will work, but I'm not going to fully recommend it. You can Psycho Telekinesis jump over, but if you are stuck in the ice already, you're not going to be able to use your jump, so you have to be very careful with Psycho. You can jump over this and not have to worry, and you get your ability back pretty fast that even if they try to get near you, just make sure you avoid it, and if they try to get a path on you, just keep dodging left and right, and if you have one of them held up in the air... Oh! <laughs> yeah, definitely don't use... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't use the ability if you've been psychoed as you uh you have a straight shot to death <laughs> If you can land the kraken arm on them, yep It'll take them off, but uh, there's a lot better if you time out counter this will absolutely work But if you don't time this correctly, then you're gonna get stuck in an ice block and it's not gonna be worth for you What happens with rob? So if you are iced you could use rob to kind of escape The thing is is you won't be able to move till the ice block is gone But it should be relatively fast with how fast rob's ability activates and you're safe in those frames while you're activating it You could also do this is if you're getting stuck on the ice before Beforehand, use it early so that you can make it off of the ice. Ooh, rhythm can actually be good here. Oh yeah, you're perfectly safe with rhythm. Oh, not perfectly safe. Never mind. It's not like the speed run. Uh, it's not like speed run will, it will save you from the ice. It's just this won't slow you down when you're on ice. If you're about to get turned into ice, you can always hit the escape button with Rojo and be good. But the problem is, is if you miss, there's going to be ice around you at the end. Retro is going to be a massive W here. If you're stuck on the ice itself, you can use a bomb to go up in the air and get off of it. Just make sure you're on the bomb because if you're on the ice you can't jump to swap the other thing is is if they're near you you can use the band hammer to send them away from you and knock them off of their ice skates itself you should be 100 safe if you use the invincibility potion with alchemist so if you drink an invincible potion there is nothing that's going to harm you while you're in that invincible potion from a ice skater that is if you just do two mushrooms and one elderwood for the invincible potion druid's going to be another fantastic option for you if they're coming after you just use your ability and it takes them right off of it and puts them into a vine trap they get their ability back right about now and you just got your ability back so you could easily use this to push them back and be like no 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 ice skating around these parts <laughs> if you do hit them with druid they can still walk around but it stops their ability which is the big reason why i'm gonna call this a w jester can kind of be a huge deterrent if they're trying to put you in ice so if they're surrounding you just hit them with one of the cards and they won't be able to surround you and you get your ability back so fast that whoever is near you trying to do it you could hit them over and over and over again and not really have to worry scythe is also going to be a great option here if you see them coming after you just throw a scythe and uh it kind of takes them away <laughs> the ability wise they get theirs back faster than you get your cleave back but at the same time it really shouldn't matter too too much as scythe is going to be a massive deterrent for them going after you once they get hit now if you're good at throwing santa's milk will be really great but if you do have them and you can time out the milk you could definitely stop them in their tracks <laughs> the milk is going to be your top option against an ice skater the bob can also work but it's going to be a little bit harder to hit and last things last of course you could always try to ice skate another ice skate user that can be a fun battle and and that's gonna do it for our counters on this brand new ice skater glove pretty interesting right <laughs> a lot of counters that's for sure thank you to everybody that you see on your screen right now for helping out on figuring out the counters fast rollo andrew kryptonol cyborg show foxy boy carl viewer who's not here but shout out to viewer bio madness and ivan thank you so much to all of you what was your favorite counter in this i think my favorite counter might have to be speed run it's the ideal counter because nothing affects you which counter surprised you the most i'm surprised that 
reverse took the L that it did. <laughs> but let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I hope that every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this, and we shall catch you in the next one. Later! <laughs>